You don't have to look far. Potholes, cracks in the road, they're all over, and climate change is only making this problem worse. But we visited a company in Woodenville that says their new material will help these roads last longer. Those dreaded potholes, almost unavoidable. The extreme events are the problem. Say three straight days of triple digit heat. Roads in Seattle weren't designed for that. Heat causes buckling and cold weather plus heavy rain produces more potholes. So these rundown roads need to be replaced and road owners are looking for stronger and more environmentally friendly pavement. This is how much carbon is actually embedded in just a little bit of your fossil fuels. And this is what we're preventing from being emitted into the atmosphere. Tony Pan and his team at Modern Hydrogen may have a solution. In fact, Bill Gates is an early investor. We visited their new headquarters in Woodenville, where the clean energy startup researches and develops its innovative creation. They discovered how to make clean hydrogen by pulling carbon out of natural gas. It all happens inside these large hydrogen generators and produces this. Uh, this is solid carbon. It looks like uh, you know, black powdered sugar. Now they sell but the solid carbon as a clean material to put in asphalt. Asphalt's made out of rocks, but the glue that typically holds it together is the leftovers from crude oil, which emits carbon dioxide. But our carbon not only makes this block of asphalt stronger, but because our carbon comes with uh, no CO2 emissions, that actually makes your uh, asphalt also cleaner. The so-called modern asphalt is used by the county in San Antonio, Texas, and four other states, including Washington. But so far, only private entities here. Modern hydrogen still has a limited supply. They're going to the highest bidder. The highest bidders so far have not been in Washington state. Absolutely, you should try something like this. University of Washington civil engineering professor Stephen Mensch says gaining the trust of agencies like SDOT and WashDOT takes time and for good reason. There's a lot of testing and there's a lot of proof of the material working before you can get approved by these road owners. But this Seattle startup believes they're a piece of the puzzle in slowing climate change. I expect us to be not only all over North America, but starting to deploy units internationally. Will it be a raging success? We'll find out, but I would love to find out. Right now, the federal government is giving away $1.2 billion to state departments of traffic to use material that has a lower carbon footprint. WashDOT has already applied for the grant. For King 5 News, I'm Drew Andre.